Yo, 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 YouTube. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another day, finally, on the Ferrari 308 build. I've taken a few days out to start on the uh, 348. I've just taken it in and uh, just doing the light restoration on that. I'll put the link at the end of this video for that one. Uh, but today, the plan to continue really where I left off last time. Uh, I've got some tools, hopefully, to remove that air conditioning unit in the car and the goal today really is to check those timing marks and see where we're at with the rear bank and uh, all the timing marks on there just see if we've got alignment on the uh, cams and um, fingers crossed hopefully no bent valves but anyway i'm going to crack on get that wheel off get underneath it and uh, start getting that cam cover off the car and uh, I'll catch up with you once we've um, got a step further there. Cheers. Okay, so that's our AC unit out of the car. A little bit tricky because you kind of have to twist it around. Um, water pump's in the way, so I have to kind of spin it around and I can get it out. So we're onto that rear cover now. I'm just taking off this uh, AC bracket. And now we should be able to get to the cover. Take a few bolts off the back of that, and all good. It is this alternator bracket here that bolts here. That needed to come off, otherwise the uh, cover can't slide off. And now I need to undo all the nuts on the other side of the uh, cover, and hopefully that should come off. Working from the top of the car again. Like I say, I'm just undoing all these eight mil nuts. Kind of hold this cover to the back panel and there's a few of them and a few of them are going to be pretty tricky there's two and there's one down there and somewhere on the bottom so since the last episode on the 308 i've had a very very cool offer from my friend aldos down at av engineering AV Engineering are a Ferrari and Maserati specialist here in the UK and have a superb reputation uh, for all their work that they do. Sam from Seen Through Glass takes his 360 to Aldos and it's really well looked after there. Anyway, Aldos has very kindly offered to let me take the engine uh, out of the car if I need to, um, depending on what happens today and uh, if needs be rebuild it down at his place where he has all the tools and he will kindly oversee all the work that i do on the car so in a way if i'm honest i'm kind of hoping the engine is not working very well and uh, it does need to come out and i get to learn something from aldos down at his place so let's see it's a win-win situation either way for me today let's crack on okay so that is the rear cover off now check this out this is our good bank nice tight belt this is our bad bank that i am pretty sure is the cause of our problem hmm Maybe something there. No movement on that side. Quite a lot of movement there. So, yeah. Look at that. So, I'm gonna get my head in there, have a look and see if I can discover what's causing all of this. There's my mark here. So that's good. What are we looking here? We can see the mark. So that's in the correct place. Okay, so this bank is aligned up. So I'm going to put some timing marks here. So that looks good. Okay, now, if I go to this other bank, I've got a mark here, 
And I've got a mark over here. So that really would explain everything that is going on with this car. So the question is, have we killed our valves? Mm. And why is that on that? Is it because of this? I mean, look how loose that belt is. You can see how loose that belt is there. Really bad. And it looks like it's, oh, hang on. That's okay now. So I just put those where they should be. I really can't see on that bottom one. Take a picture of that and see if it helps me. Hold on. Okay, so I've taken everything off, taken the tensioner off, re-greased all of that, reapplied the belt on here, that sprocket down the bottom now, I've got no play in that at all, so I'm hoping that's okay, I don't know, I need to really check into this, that's a bit of a worry. Belt's all good, everything's lined up. So well, that's our next step, and then we're gonna see how this behaves when I turn it over by hand, slowly. Okay guys, this is the bit you're probably gonna call me bonkers on. Leave your comments below, that's fine. But I've turned that engine over by hand. Everything seems to feel okay. The alignment marks all line up. The belts are holding their tension. So, I'm really tempted to turn it over and uh, see what happens. I know I'm crazy, I like to take these gambles, but if the valves are bent, the valves are bent already. And it just means I'm gonna have to uh, replace 16 valves on that back bank. So, uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. What shall I do? Okay. So, curiosity is getting the better of me here. So, we've got our covers off, our belts are all here, you can see everything. Uh, I've got no water or anything in the car. Obviously, that came out when we started disconnecting everything. So, if I fire it up, it gets fired up for a few seconds and that's it. I have put the cam cover back on. Obviously, it needs new gaskets, so again, can only be done for a few seconds. Uh, there's oil and everything on the car anyway from when I was taking everything off before. Uh, wipes are back on. Let's have a little look underneath again, just check everything. Okay, our belts. Belts still feel okay. Feel about the same to be fair. That sprocket's still good. No alternator belt. Uh, what to do, what to do. Do you know what? I'm gonna go for it. This is probably where I really do cry, but let's go for it. Kiss it goodbye. Let's do it. Okay, I'm mad, I'm gonna do it. is that um, I need to obviously test a few things but it fired up <laughs> and the gamble paid off uh, it's revving really high I need to have a look at that uh, I don't want to damage anything so um, well 
Obviously, I took that major gamble anyway, but uh, let's have a little tweak around and uh, try and figure out why it's revving high. right this next bit calls for shades the future is looking bright for the 308 uh, that was a big gamble a crazy gamble um, but I bought a non-running Ferrari yeah in fact I bought two non-running 308s both of them are running now um, so you know I do take gambles like that the uh, it, the car is revving high uh, so I need to look at that. Uh, I also will be doing a compression test again just to see what readings we're getting from the car now uh, and you know doing a full compression test do it properly um, but I'm going to do that in the next episode. I don't have time today I'm running out of time so uh, while I'm waiting to do that I will order up some parts such as rocker cover gaskets. I'll order up a uh, new cam belt kit and tensioners because uh, while we've got that apart it makes sense to change those, not take any risks with that. Uh, that little sprocket at the bottom, I need to do some research on that. That worries me that uh, that had some play in it. It seems fine now, everything's tensioned up, but I, yeah, I, I need to look into that. Um, but really cool. I'm going to uh, try and figure out why it is idling so much. My suspicion is that when um, someone has been trying to get that car running they have messed around with pretty much everything, everything as we saw with the, all the wiring everything disconnected on the car and um, I suspect they have messed around with mixtures everything like that the throttle body is backs right off so normally uh, that is how uh, you adjust the idle on one of these things and uh, that's not right so well, that's not the cause so um, it's probably to do with as you saw me playing with the plate um, mixture there and also I don't have the air box on or anything like that so I'm gonna get those bits and fingers crossed this continues to behave but for today I would say that is the biggest leap forward and uh, super super happy hope you enjoyed it I will uh, wrap this one up don't forget to leave your comments below and uh, give me a like give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed thanks very much for watching see you in the next episode